Hey guys, I figured I would just show you what my mining setup is like. This is my video gaming machine. It is an i5 9600K with 16 gigs of RAM. It's for playing video games. It's got an RTX 2070 Super with 12 gigs of RAM. It's the MSI uh, gaming version. So here's another video card I have. This is a Sapphire RX 570 4 gigabyte Nitro Plus. Um, I don't have a mining rig set up in here. This is just my gaming rig. It was my little Batman. So what I did was I bought a riser and I put this riser and I just plugged it in as if you were plugging it into a mining rig and it just stands all by itself. I've seen people do creative things like make things out of Legos to hold them, but this guy just, uh, it doesn't move. So, now I'll show you what kind of numbers I'm getting out of these. This is a 4 gigabyte card here, and you know that you can't mine ether anymore, but there are ways around it. Uh, one's called zombie mode. So, here is what I'm making on this machine per day. $4.92 a day. Um, it was making a little over $5 a day, but... I went and I bought one of these. This is called a kilowatt, and it measures the watts that your computer is sucking down. I bought it at Harbor Freight for $24.99, and um, this was making just a little bit more, a couple more cents a day, but it was taking more juice, I found out, just by having Windows Ultimate Performance Mode enabled. I put it down to Windows Power Saving Mode, um, and what I did was I just told it to never sleep, but I still put it down to power saving mode. And now this thing's only taking 330 watts of juice, which is really good because it only knocked me down about seven cents a day. Um, and so that it's very important because you don't want to be using more power than needed. Even if you're earning more, but you're using more power, you're not really making that much money. So here are the settings that I have. I have these settings here for the 2070 Super. I've got it at core voltage, I did not adjust, power limit 72, 73 for my temperature limit, core clock is at 400, minus 400, I'm sorry, memory clock is at 1000. Right now in my pretty warm office, it's running at 66 degrees Celsius. I like to stay below 64, so what I'll probably do after I'm done with this video is go in and adjust the fan settings and bump it up a little bit um, just to keep it cooler. So that card is, sorry, wrong one. That card is mining at 43 mega hash. And if we go down here, we can look at my um, RX 574 gigabyte card, and it's mining Raven. And the algorithm, I'll show you the algorithms I'm using to get these, and it's getting 7.68. So if we go over here, we can determine, if we go under devices, We can see now there's that guy. It's running Nano Miner Kapow. I had to put it into zombie mode, and the way that you do that is you go over here to plugins and then you find what it is that you're mining. And mine was Nanner, no, I'm sorry, Nano Miner. You have to go to show internals. You have to go down into internals. You don't do this when you're mining. This is how you set it up. And then you have to go into plug-in supported algorithms. These top two lines, this one says true. It used to say false. The next one says true, and it used to say false. You just save that, and then you open your miner and benchmark it, and away you go. So that's how I've um, overclocked the tw uh, 2070 is by using MSI Afterburner using the settings that I told you about. And now for the other card that's mining the Raven Miner. Uh, open up my Radeon software. It was dragged onto this little tiny monitor over there that I have turned down, so I stopped the video. These are the settings that I'm using for that. That I've, I've been messing with this for two weeks now, and I finally got it to where I like it. So in your AMD drivers for the AMD card, I went to tuning, and I opened up all the advanced controls for manual. Um, it's only running at 59 degrees. I'm happy with that. And these are the settings that I used. 1030 is what I'm running it at for the core clock. And then I'm undervolting it to 880, and it's running stable. 
As far as the fan curve goes, I mess with this sometimes depending on uh, the temperature in the office. I don't get very good air conditioning in this part of the house, but that's where it's at now, but you can always bump it up a little bit if it's running too hot for you. Um, that doesn't take away your mining profitability, but it might wear out your fan quicker. Anyways, uh, I clocked the speed up to 2000 for the VRAM. It was at 2100 and it wasn't stable. It crashed every 24 hours or so. So I was tired of restarting it, so I have it at 2000. And then I've also underclocked the RAM to 880 as well. Now, on this computer, I still do play a video game or two, probably an hour or two a day. And what I do is I just shut down the computer and I unplug um, the power to this video card. And then I unplug the data cable that um, goes to the video card from the riser. And then I take my, I'm using my onboard graphics right now so it doesn't take away from the mining power of this card so I turn off the computer disconnect that card from the computer and then I move my HDMI and my display port onto my main gaming monitor I turn it back on and then I play a game for a few hours and here is my main mining rig that has three GPUs and I'm gonna tell you how that works it is headless it sits out in my living room and um, basically it runs off of Wi-Fi and has no monitor, keyboard, or mouse, or any of that. It just sits out here warming up my living room for me. And what we've got here is an RX 580 8 gigabyte. We have an EVGA 1070. It's a hybrid, so it's water-cooled. Very good for mining. It's very quiet. And we've got a GeForce GTX 980 Ti. This card is also obsolete. So the way that I administer this is it, I have Windows Pro on it and I just log in from my gaming computer and I will show you how that works in just a second. Before we remotely connect to the miner in the living room, I did make a spreadsheet here that tells me which computer has which card, what algorithm it's mining, what all of my settings are, how many watts the entire rig is pulling, what it costs me per day, how much each machine is making me. That way, if I decide I want to add a card or something like that, I have a good idea of what it was doing before. Um, like this card here, I'm probably going to sell and take some of the money I earned mining to upgrade to an RX 580 8 gigabyte that will make three times as much. Anyway, that's just a good way to keep track of it. Rig, cards, algorithm, all of your settings, and then... Uh... So, that said, we're gonna go ahead and open up Remote Desktop Connection. That computer in the living room, that miner is called Crypto Keeper. We're gonna connect to it remotely. That makes it to where I don't have to have a keyboard, mouse, monitor, any of that stuff. This is a very old computer we're connecting to with a Wi-Fi connection, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Of course, no sooner did I turn off the camera than it popped right up. So here we go. These are the minor settings that I have uh, for the overclocks and the fan controls for the RX 580. I have that core running at 1130, and then I have a pretty aggressive fan on there um, because, if you can see, it's already up to 60. I like to keep my cards cooler than that. move that over. It's a little bit of lag on this computer, but I built it as cheaply as possible. All the budget went to the cards, not the actual machine. It's got 8 gigs of RAM, DDR3 RAM, and it's got an SSD 120 um, so that I had 120 gigs for the Windows install and then as well as the uh, the virtual RAM that I wanted to set on there. I want to take your max RAM of all the video cards as well as your RAM for the machine, times it by 2, times that by 1024, and then make that much your virtual RAM, and then if memory spikes, you won't lose your mining. So, anyways, this guy's at 1130. This is our RX 580 core clock uh, with the voltage at 850 on the core, and then on the VRAM, it's running at 22 megahertz, and that also, I've got the memory overclocked at underclocked, undervolted, I'm sorry, at 850. And this card is making me, I mean, this machine is making me $6.43 a day. Oh, 
$6.86 a day. Sorry, I had just turned it on and started it mining, so uh, it usually hovers around $7 a day at what we're getting right now. Uh, this is April 23rd, and Bitcoin has recently gone way down, and it is only worth about $50,000 right now. So <clears throat> two days ago, both these machines together were making almost $20 a day. Now the two of them together are making about $12 a day, 12 to 15 Anyways, there is the settings for the RX 580. We'll minimize that. Here are the settings for the NVIDIA cards. We've got our GTX 1070. Settings are as follows. Power limit 72, temp limit 71, core clock 150, memory clock plus 550. Um, that is running see over here <coughs> sorry if we go up to devices GTX 1070 is running Dagger Hashimoto by NB Miner and it's getting 26 sometimes it goes all the way up to 29 but it's usually pretty consistent at 26 with the settings that I'm showing you <coughs> Sorry, I have a touch of the flu or the cold or something. I know it's not COVID. I can still smell. GTX 980 Ti is running G Minor CUDA 9.0. And that is um, Cuckoo Cycle. And the settings for that Again, this machine is kind of slow, laggy, but I built it on a budget. Power limit 72, temp limit 67, core clock plus 150, memory clock plus 550. And the algorithm uh, that we're running is the only one that would even make any money at all. The rest was just gonna be a, a wash. And then the RX 580 is running SRB Dagger Hashimoto. Temperature's up to 60. I'm probably gonna adjust the fan a little bit more than that. Um, here's what we're getting over here. That guy gets typically 29 hashes. Oh, we can just look here. I don't have to show you that over there. Yeah, that guy gets 29. I can get it up to 31. It starts using too much power and then it also starts heating up. So I have it here. These are all the ultimate perfect settings to get the most money out of all five of these GPUs. Um, for the least amount of money and the best, uh, it's not going to overheat the cards and wear them out. So I hope this helps somebody. And if you liked it, maybe you could uh, mine to my wallet address for a couple of minutes and help me out like I tried to help you out. I'll have the link uh, to my wallet address in the description. Cheers.